out of West Coast Eagles. As we told you at the top of the bulletin, Ben Cousins today met with West Coast Eagles Chief Executive Trevor Nisbet. Nisbet has told Seven News the former captain wants to return to the Eagles as soon as possible and the club will meet the AFL next weekend to work out a plan for Ben Cousins' return to football. And Eagles coach John Worsfold joins me now. John, is Ben Cousins any closer to a return to the club after today's meeting with Trevor Nisbet? Well, I haven't met with Trevor today, Baz, so I don't really know how that meeting went, but um, there's obviously a lot that's got to happen over the next uh, number of weeks, and uh, today was just a good start for Ben to touch base with uh, Trevor, and over the next day or so, um, I'm sure we'll be filled in about um, what happened with that meeting. Sure. John, what sort of things need to happen for Ben Cousins to return to the club? Oh, well, there, there's quite a lot, Baz. It'd be uh, too long to go through it now, but uh, he's got to certainly meet a lot of requirements um, that us as a football club, who are the ones that actually put him on his suspension, uh, expect for him to come back to the club. But the AFL will have uh, some say in what they expect as well. Do you welcome the prospect of a return by Ben Cousins to the Eagles? Well, the biggest thing that I've always been strong about, Baz, if Ben gets back and plays football this year, it means he's over his problems and he's back very, very healthy. So that would be the best outcome, that he's that he's uh, beats his problems, which he's well on the way to doing, and, um, and shows everyone that he's uh, fit and well. But he would be a chance to return this season then, John? Uh, I think that is a chance. How realistic, I don't know. Um, there's still a lot of um, things that have got to take place, but... Uh, you know, confident that, that Ben's working very hard at it and uh, at all those things and wants to get back and play. Speaking of players on the comeback trail or trying to get back to the top level, any reports on Ashley Sampy from the Waffle today? No, uh, not yet, no. So uh, I'll get a full rundown after our training session, but uh, we'll, we'll find out exactly how he's gone. Sounds like he's struggling, just generally speaking, John. That would be disappointing. You've invested a lot of time in Ashley. Yeah, but, you know, he's got everything ahead of him. He can still get back and play uh, some really good football this year. So uh, he says he wants to do it, and he's not that far away. So, uh, you know, disregarding some of the reports, he's certainly not six kilos overweight. It's, uh, it's a, he could get back to being match fit for AFL level within uh, a week or so. So it's, it's, um, it's there for him to grab. A convincing win against a good side on Saturday. Wish, what did you make of the Cox-McIntosh battle? It was an intriguing one. Yeah, I thought it was a great battle. Um, Hamish McIntosh is a, is a very exciting up-and-coming ruckman who's in, had a great year to date. But, uh, you know, we were very pleased with Coxie's output on the game. Uh, in the 80 minutes he was on the ground to kick two goals and, and ruck the way he did was great for us. And Matthew Prittis's form is a credit to him, but also to the club. He was off the pace, when, when I say pace, the speed of the game early in the season, but you've given him a chance and he's really worked into the speed of AFL footy. That must delight you. Yeah, we're wrapped for him. But, you know, he's done a huge amount of work um, to prepare himself for AFL football without, uh, without ever having any guarantees that he would get those opportunities. So it's a credit to him and he's uh, now really grabbing those chances. Room for Daniel Kerr back in the side this week? Well, I think we'll squeeze him in. <laughs> um, yeah, the tough question is uh, in, at whose expense, but we'll work through that this week.